This conference will now be recorded. Hello. How are you friends? All well? So in the previous session, we did the D and F block elements. So we just introduced that topic, right? The definition of the D block elements, the change of energy when you're going to hit atomic number 20, the variation in the atomic radii and lanthanide contraction was discussed, right? Density is going to increase or decrease as you move, uh, I'm sorry, increase from moving from left to right and top to bottom. The change in oxidation state, the manganese in group one is going to exhibit the highest number of oxidation state, squandium and <laughs> zinc are two elements which do not show any variation in oxidation state. Lower oxidation states are going to be basic, right? And higher oxidation states are going to be acidic. Also remember lower oxidation states are going to be having more ionic character and higher oxidation states are going to have more of covalent character and Fazan's rules. We discussed why something is going to have minus reduction potential and why something is going to have the higher reduction potential. It was an important discussion. Not everybody can understand, but you have already understood it and that's very good. And you will be finding question based upon that. People will be going for rote learning. If you just try to understand what is going to be the concept behind it, nobody can beat you up. So this is something in this topic, which is considered as a little bit difficult topic. <laughs> I gave you homework to read the properties of various groups. Just to read it at leisure, but do read it, right? So it will create interest. The off go principle is going to be the key. Now let's move ahead something which every teacher can tell you with surety that in your board's exam topic aega he aega this is going to be the concept <coughs> where i can tell you with almost accuracy that questions to aenge he aenge the question can be give a method of preparation for potassium dichromate or kmno4 and give two property, three property showing its oxidation nature or complete the following equation. So that is a topic. The potassium dichromate and KMnO4 are two very important oxidizing agent in the reactions. So that is the reason you should do it. We are so much sure that question will come and come and come and theory. Mein. Potassium dichromate, it is generally prepared from the chromite ore. Wherever I'm putting star means important. FeCr2O4 chromite ore. The method of preparation, the ore is fused with NOH or sodium carbonate in the presence of air. FeCr2O4 chromite ore, NOH plus oxygen forms sodium chromate plus Fe2O3 eight water or if you put sodium carbonate everything remaining same only the difference is carbon dioxide the first step the solution containing sodium chromate is filtered and we add little bit of dilute sulfuric acid this is going to precipitate sodium sulfate leaving sodium dichromate in the solution the sodium chromate which you produce in the first step will be converting to sodium dichromate. Now the sodium sulfate will precipitate in your solution will be having sodium dichromate. The third step, the sodium dichromate wala solution minus sodium sulfate precipitate karadia is now mixed with hot potassium chloride. The displacement reaction happens the potassium is displacing it. You can balance it your choice. You will be getting potassium dichromate. NaCl, 
the NaCl will precipitate out. After then, the potassium dichromate, which will remain soluble, you cool down the temperature. You will get beautiful orange crystals of potassium dichromate. The concept is potassium dichromate. When water was warm, the solution was hot. It is soluble. But as you are going to cool it, the potassium dichromate is going to precipitate out. I again reassert the topic is very important. Let's move ahead. The properties. The potassium dichromate on heating converted into potassium chromate plus Cr2O3 plus oxygen. This question was asked in this way. The orange potassium dichromate on heating converts into yellow compound. What is that yellow compound? Potassium chromate along with a gas and the green compound that is Cr2O3 is green colored. So every equation of dichromate and k 4 is important. The second concept is going to be asked. Potassium dichromate on addition of NH turns yellow, which on reacidification turns orange. Did you notice it's the same thing? The second equation, dichromate, which is orange in color, on increasing the pH base dala converts into yellow chromate. The chromate on adding sulfuric acid acidification pH ke kam karne se reconvert into the dichromate. Understood to be taken care, my dear friends. Really to be taken care. So there is, I think as I have said, a very high probability of questions coming from this part. Chromyl chloride test, important. It is a test for chloride. And this is not given by silver, mercury and lead because these are sparingly soluble. They do not produce chloride to be taken care of. The potassium dichromate, a mixture with chloride coming from potassium, sodium or whatever you have, is going to react in the presence of sulfuric acid to produce the chromyl chloride <coughs> CrO2 Cl2. This will be appearing as orange red vapors, badal jesse nickel nature. So that is a test. Understood? Potassium dichromate react with HCl producing green colors potassium sorry chromium chloride reaction with NaCl metals reaction with HCl acid again that is going to be produced if you remember throughout organic chemistry yeah. we have been singing this song potassium dichromate oxidize karega KMnO4 oxidize karega so now we are here the K2Cr2O7 <laughs> is a powerful oxidizing agent it react oxidizing agent in the presence of strongly acidic medium or sulfuric acid <coughs> producing potassium sulfate green color chromium sulfate plus three green in color plus water and three oxygen this is responsible for its oxidation property the oxidation property because nascent oxygen will be produced Another concept, dono sodium and potassium dichromate are oxidizing it. But sodium dichromate, hygroscopic, absorb katlata moisture, gila sawajata, hence it is less preferred. Therefore, you will be observing potassium dichromate, orange crystalline compound as an oxidizing agent. If you focus on this Guru Mantar, you will be saved from memorizing 20 equations. See what I want to tell. Notice it oxidizes ferrous to ferric. Eval equation will be same way. But some sort of here ferrous sulfate. And you will be getting ferric sulfate. Iodide to iodine. Say, take K2, Cr2, O7, 
H2SO4 plus gives K2SO4 plus Cr2SO4 thrice plus water plus EFAC. You add ferrous sulfate, ferrous chloride. You get ferric chloride, ferrous sulfate. Iodide to iodine. Yaha pe Ki add kar do. Yaha pe I2 le lo. That's it. Yaha pe you add the sulfide. Yaha pe the sulfur le lo. Potassium nitrite. Potassium nitrate. MnSO4. Right. Going to convert into Mn. Right. O4. Thiosulfate. Na2S2O3 and Na2SO4 plus sulfur oxidation. SO2, SO3, but SO3 pani ke saath milke sulfuric acid bana de. Oxalic acid oxidized to carbon dioxide and water. I can call it one of the most important topic from the board point of view. Try to master it. For example, they go Ki plus sulfuric acid plus oxygen. Some of the oxygen can se fada or ye valley oxygen. You will be getting I2. H2S goes to sulfur. You see one equation. You see the one equation. Ki dichromate sulfuric acid. They go Ki to ane yane. Only difference is I2. That is what I was saying. Ye to ane yane. Yaha pe ferrous or yaha pe the ferric sulfate. That's it. H2S sulfur. Na2SO3. Na2SO4. Nothing else. That's the point I was discussing. Understood, Bacho? It is take care. Road learning very important please the structure of dichromate and chromate this is tetrad he has shown like this no problem you can show like this or the dichromate this is going to be c r o negative one oxygen do not it or same evident do not make a me the way you want to draw entirely your choice. So that is going to be the structure of dichromate, two chromate unit joined together. Potassium dichromate. Mere <laughs> make notes, right? And KMNO4 ke saath. Abhi KMNO4 bhi hone wala. The potassium manganate, KMNO4, sorry, is prepared from MnO2. Apne aap mein one mark question. K2Cr2 is prepared from FeCr2O4. KMnO4 is prepared from pyrolusite. You are going to fuse it with the KOH in the presence of oxygen. Potassium manganate. Per manganate KMnO4. K2MnO4 potassium manganate plus water. This is green mass, gober ke jase. Right? Or you could have used K2CO3. Everything same, except carbon dioxide fark. Keep in mind, K2MnO4 green mass. Green mass. The green mass. This is the same stuff. Is now extracted with the water. The solution is treated with chlorine, ozone, or CO2 to get purple color KMnO4. You can use K2MnO4 plus chlorine, KMnO4 only. Or better, ozone, KMnO4 only. Or the carbon dioxide, Comilia, KMnO4 plus MnO2 reproduced therefore we say the third method c method is uneconomical because reactant ko 
प्रोडक्ट बनाते बनाते प्रोडक्ट में से कुछ रिएक्टेंट वापस निकाल ली सो विच टू आर गोइंग टू बी बेटर मैथड ऊपर वाला आर गोइंग टू बी द बेटर मैथड फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द के extremely important question give method of preparation for chem matlab man ke chalo aayega hi aayega properties it is a violet purple colored crystalline solid fairly soluble in hot water aap logon ne community kitchens dekhi hongi i want to say jaise langar wagaira to usme jab bartan dhote hain to because lots of people are eating there so they are going to add little bit maybe a spoonful in 100 liter of water kmno4 so what is going to do it is going to be an oxidizing agent ye bacteria virals jo jitne bhi wahan pe infectious cheeze ho sakte hain unko pani ke andar khatam kar dega so that is the use of kmno4 ज्यादा भी नहीं डालना और उसके बाद बर्तन को धोना भी है बिकॉज इट इज नॉट अटोनिक फॉर ह्यूमन बॉडी और फॉर एनी लिविंग सिस्टम एज अ मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट द केमेन ऑफ फोर हीट करने से कन्वर्ट होता है के टू एम एन ऑफ फोर ग्रीन एम एन ऑफ टू एन ऑक्सीजन और अगर आप इसको रेड हॉट पे कर दो दिस इज गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट इन टू के टू एम एन थ्री डिट यू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट स्टेज पे ये or second stage where this is going to be produced it is a strong oxidizing agent kmno4 very powerful oxidizing agent it can react in oxidizing acid base or neutral it has been discussed in solution where i taught you the guru mantra as a b n 513 what is 5 the valency factor the n factor 5 1 3 not required for your school boards but required for your competitions only the valency factor in neutral medium alkaline medium and basic medium it react like this you know the best part is the best part is is ke oxidizing property are ditto similar to the dichromate paris iodide ditto same koi change hi nahi hai mn plus 2 mn plus 2 all oxidizing reaction are similar to that of dichromate so what you will do you will pick any of this equation you put ferrous sulfate it goes to ferric sulfate you put ki it goes to i2 KMnO4 is used as a disinfectant and germicide. It is an oxidizing agent, and alkaline KMnO4 is known as Bayer's reagent. If you add Bayer's reagent, refer organic chemistry, glycols one there. It is an important volumetric reagent. It is the it is used as the indicator. KMnO4 becomes alkaline in basic medium. Bleaching agent for textiles and oils. You might not have seen it, but अगर आप ध्यान से देखिए तो आपके मदर ने या आप में से अगर किसी ने अपना कपड़ा रंगवाया हो तो वो रंग कई बार नहीं चढ़ता है. तो you ask dyer कि इस रंग को काट दो. They just do the bleaching. They add KMnO4 जो पहला कलर होता है. उसका हैप्पी बर्थडे कर देता है एंड देन यू कैन पुट अनदर डू यू रिमेंबर वन थिंग बेटे दैट डी जीरो डी टेन कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री यूज टू बी वाइट डी वन से लेके डी नाइन बिकॉज ऑफ डी डी ट्रांजिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन टी टू जी से ई जी और वाइसा वर कलर्ड हमने पिछली क्लास में भी डिस्कस किया TiO2 टाइटेनियम इज इन प्लस 4 राइट तो इट हैज अ कॉन्फिगरेशन ऑफ आर्गन 18 3d0 सो दिस इज नथिंग बट वाइट पिगमेंट ZnO जिंक 
is going to have argon 18 3d10 this is a white pigment if that is valid why came in a four diacrometa colored in spite of having the d not configuration see what i'm telling you is manganese plus sat me better i'm sorry manganese is sitting in plus seven so manganese hota kya hai argon 18 3d5 porous 2 argon is it is having this chromium plus six my matter what is chromium 3d5 4s1 so plus six ka matla, this is three not so ideally they must be white but they are colored so what is the reason for that it is basically ligand to metal electron you can call it charge transfer the mno4 negative has oxygen cr2o7 has oxygen so here oxygen has electron momentarily oxygen ligand transfer electron to manganese d or vital mein. and then it goes back that is known as ligand to metal transfer or the metal to ligand aap ne coordination chemistry mein synergic bonding mein kiya hua. metal carbon ile once carbon monoxide transfer electron to metal ligand to metal then the metal ke electron transferred to the ligand so you can say ligand to metal electron transfer this question was asked around 2016 or 2018 ke andar ye question so make sure you understand <clears throat> now that's it the block we are entering into another important family that is known as <coughs> the f block element but so these are ajibo grieb element you can see from their faces so that is just a symbolical way they are different the f block element these consist of two series one is known as lanthanoid right lanthanum chelate over one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen this is you remember D block element but because it resembles in behavior to other F block it has been placed here actinium is a D block element rest all are the F block element but in co lanthanide actinide he bola jata hai. right so that is with a 14 elements after actinium 14 element ye, ideally this but now wahan se rakha gaya aap to jante hai, f mein kitne electron aate hain 1 to 14 red wale are synthetic man made nature has not given you that is the reason so jo actinide hai they become less important if any of you is interested then they can memorize in this way the lanthanide and actinide go lanthanum cerium praseodymium neodymium promethium samarium europium gadolonium terbium diisoprecium holmium erbium thulium ytterbium lutetium try to read it 10 times at different intervals of a day right abhi kar liya aadhe ghante ke baad fir karna i'm telling you fayda ko this is a mnemonic guru mantra for that lasi par 
Now you understand. Lanthanum, cerium, praseodymium, right? Nud pumpsum, you understand. Neodymium, promethium, samarium, right? You gut up. Europium, gadolinium, terbium, right? Up. Dihoir, disprosium, holmium, erbium, and tum yab blue. Tum yab blue. Tholium, ethirbium, lutetium. अगर मेरे से पूछोगे तो याद करना चाहिए द रेस्ट इज योर स्टोरी राइट द सेकेंड इसका भी नाम पढ़ लेते हैं एक्टिनियम थोरियम प्रोटेक्टिनियम यूरेनियम इफ यू लाइक यू कैन मेमोराइज दीज ए टी पी यू ए टी पी यू रेस्ट ऑल आर सिंथेटिक एलिमेंट ऐसे तो ऊपर वालों के भी रेडियोएक्टिव एलिमेंट है बट इट गेट नाइनटी थ्री से ऑनवर्ड सारे आर रेडियो एक्टिव सो द निमोनिक एक मिनट पहले यहां पर पढ़ लेते हैं नेपच्यूनियम प्लूटोनियम अमेरिकियम क्यूरियम बर्केलियम कैलिफोर्नियम आइंस्टीनियम फर्मियम मेंडलीवियम नोबीलियम लॉरेंसियम राइट ऑफ ए टीपीयू नया पैसा एप्रल के बाद चलेगा ऐसा फायदा मिलेगा नो लो नेपच्यूनियम प्लूटोनियम अमेरिकम बर्केलियम कैलिफोर्नियम अंस्टीनियम फर्मियम मेडलीवियम नोबीलियम एंड द लॉरेंसियम एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम माय पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू फ्रॉम माय पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू राइट इफ यू मेमोराइज This is definitely going to help you, Ach. Definitely going to help you. Concentrate, right? Fayda hoga. Such me fayda hoga. Because the lanthanum closely resemble the lanthanide, it is usually included in any discussion for lanthanide. Therefore. L N symbol is often used. These resemble one another more closely than do the member of ordinary transition element in any cell. So that is the reason I was saying. So they are a class apart. In ki to shatle hi alag hai. To ye pehchane jaate hain ki ye aise hai, right? So they have only one stable oxidation state. L N Plus three आएगा. Now the chemistry of actinide, जो नीचे वाले आएंगे, is much more complicated and complication arises partly due to occurrence of wide range of oxidation state in these elements. इसका मतलब उनकी oxidation state इनके मुकाबले ज़्यादा आएगी and partly because of their radioactivity. तो अगर radioactive है तो आपको उनको पकड़ना handle करना भी तो दिक्कत होगा. कौन माँ अपने बच्चे से प्यार नहीं करेगी कौन टीचर अपने बच्चे को रेडियो एक्टिव के पास जाने देगा सो दैट इज द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ओवरऑल डिक्रीज इन एटॉमिक एंड आयनिक रेडियाई फ्रॉम लेंथेनम टू ल्यूटीटियम इज बिकॉज ऑफ द पुअर शील्डिंग पहले भी हुआ ऑफ एफ ब्लॉक इज अ यूनिक फीचर इन द कमिस्ट्री ऑफ लेंथेन So that is last year का फायदा. Which of the following is going to be smallest in size? This is due to imperfect poor shielding of one electron by another in the 4F subshell. However, the shielding of one 4F electron by another is less than d electron by another. D की भी poor shielding है, but F की Shielding is the poorest, and with the increase in nuclear size along the series, there is fairly regular decrease in the size with increasing atomic number. That is what I am talking about. Last e per so on. याद नहीं करता radius. As you are moving here, the size is gradually decreasing. The lanthanide. 
the cumulative effect of contraction of lanthanide series known as lanthanide contraction was the cause of which we discussed in the last session radii of member of third transition series to be very similar to that of the second series the almost identical radii the almost identical radii of zirconium and hafnium is a consequence of lanthanide contraction account for their occurrence together in nature and the difficulty faced in their separation the tholu and holu aapke bachpan ke these are going to be very difficult to isolate because of the lanthanide contraction right lanthanide contraction name now notice this the configuration here i want everyone of you to make notes of these four elements configuration these are anomalous anomalous normally d me electron nahi hona chahiye tha but these have d me lanthanum cerium gadolinium and lutetium there are certain reasons here f7 is very stable so it is try to maintain f7 as far as possible so rather than 4f8 ki wajah se it has done electron apne aap mein question hai kam se kam zyada nahi to 10 bar pucha gaya hai which of the following is a configuration of gadolinium man mein yaad lo 4f8 hota nahi hai right dekho yahan pe 13 yahan pe 14 again to keep one electron in 4f 5d1 me aa gaya so the lanthanum the lanthanum cerium gadolinium and lutetium are having a anomalous configuration it is extremely important he will ask a question on give configuration of samarium terbium gadolinium cerium leave aside anything and see aapke ka question hai so you should note down ye four configuration right important very important and take my every advice seriously with it thik many trivalent lanthanide ions are colored both in solid state and in the aqueous solution color of these may be attributed to f electron wherever you will have f0 or f14 the color will not be there the lanthanide other than f0 and f14 are all paramagnetic ho gayi unpaired electron paramagnetism rises maximum to neo dynamic rises maximum to neodymium tak paya gaya uske baad he says this is going to be again decreasing the first ionization enthalpy are around 600 second is about 1200 comparable with those of calcium the third ionization enthalpy indicate the exchange enthalpy as in 3d subshell of the first transition series impart a certain degree of stability to empty half filled and completely filled f11 that is agar aapke paas f7 hoga f14 hoga f0 hoga the removal of electron is going to be difficult f7 f14 that is what he is talking about ठीक है जी याद नहीं करता दिस इज इंडिकेटेड फ्रॉम द एबनॉर्मल लो वैल्यू ऑफ थर्ड आयनाइजेशन लैंथेनम गडोलिनियम एंड लुटेटियम लैंथेनम गडोलिनियम एंड लुटेटियम द लैंथेनम की द थर्ड आयनाइजेशन एंथैल्पी लो वैल्यू दिस इज फर्स्ट दिस इज सेकंड दिस इज थर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन निकलने की टेंडेंसी नहीं right so that is what he is talking about 
एक चीज याद रखो स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ हाफ फिल्ड एंड फुली फिल्ड इन लेंथेनाइड एल ए थ्री एंड एल एन थ्री आर प्री डोमिनेट प्लीज लॉक किया जाए However, कभी कभी प्लस टू एंड प्लस फोर सोल्यूशन आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट वॉट प्लीज इंपॉर्टेंट एल एन प्लस थ्री अगर गलती से आपके पास प्लस टू आ गया देन इट विल ट्राई टू लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन टू अटेन दिस बिकॉज दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट तो बेटे प्लस टू वाला प्लस थ्री में जाने की कोशिश करेगा एग्रीड नाउ वट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इफ इट इज गोइंग टू लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन इट इज गोइंग टू खुद क्या होगा ऑक्सीडाइज एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ये खुद क्या होगा लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन एल एन प्लस थ्री सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ऑक्सीडाइज इट सेल्फ एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ गुड reducing agent it is going to be a good reducing agent he might ask this thing why europium plus 2 is a good reducing agent do you understand europium is a good reducing agent because it will try to go into this oxidation state now similarly if you have plus 4 Now this will try to gain electron. मतलब खुद क्या होगा? Reduce. If it is going to be reduced, it will be a very good oxidizing agent. Now, why cerium plus four is an excellent oxidizing agent? Can you imagine? Concept. So that is what I discussed. Cerium plus four is a good oxidizing agent strong oxidant promethium neodymium terbium disoprecium also are going to be good what reducing agent uh, i'm sorry good oxidizing agent europium plus 2 is a strong reducing agent because it will try to go to others like europium you have your terbium you understand samarium plus 2 so this is going to be a good the oxidizing agent do not forget properties and uses the lanthanides are silvery white metals soft metals kharab ho jate hain air mein and hardness increases with increasing atomic number samarium being extremely hot their melting point is 1000 to 1200 but samarium melts at 1623 kafi high iron ka bhi 1000 se niche hai they have typical metallic structure conductor of heat and electricity the density and other properties change smoothly except for europium and ytterbium and occasionally from samarium and thulium in their chemical behavior in general the earlier member are quite reactive similar to calcium but as atomic number increases they behave more like aluminum this is like a story read it many number of times these metal combine with hydrogen when gently heated with the gas calcium hydride the carbides lanthanum carbide are formed when the metals are heated with carbon very hard material the lanthanide liberate hydrogen from mineral acid dilute acid burns in halogen to form abhi agle pages pe dikha da they form hydroxide m2o3 and wo aluminum ke jaise behave kar rahe hain a l o h thrice the hydroxides are basic like earth like metal oxide and hydroxide very important the single best use of lanthanide is for the production of alloy steel for plate and pipes a mixed metal a lanthanide metal 
95% lanthanide, 5% iron, bit of sulfur, calcium, etc. is used in magnesium based alloy to produce bullets and shells. The missiles ke exterior banane ke kya me aate hain because that has to penetrate into the rock or maybe to dis, malad, destructive power of the uski. Mixed oxide of lanthanides are employed as catalysts in petroleum. Cracking. These lanthanum oxide are used as phosphors. TV screen ke andar jo chamak paida hoti hai because of different frequency jaise aap colors dekhte ho. टेलीविजन स्क्रीन कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन के अंदर ये काम आते हैं। शोइंग द डिफरेंट रिएक्शंस ऑफ इट बर्न्स इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन टू फॉर्म एल एन टू ओ थ्री कभी कभी एल्यूमिनियम कभी कभी कैल्शियम ए एल टू ओ थ्री इट रिएक्ट विद एसिड्स ए एल सी एल थ्री ए एल ओ एच थ्राइस कैल्शियम कार्बाइड एल्यूमिनियम नाइट्राइड सल्फर और ऑक्सीजन के साथ एल्यूमिनियम के जैसा नाइट्रोजन के साथ एल्यूमिनियम के जैसा कार्बन के साथ कैल्शियम के जैसा एल्यूमिनियम के जैसा एल्यूमिनियम के जैसा दैट इज व्हाट ही वांट टू टेल यू अबाउट दिस राइट जी तो नाउ वी आर एंटरिंग इनटू द एक्टिनॉइड बहुत छोटा है पिछले के मुकाबले काफी छोटा है बेटे Actinide includes the protein element ATPU, नया पैसा जो आपको सिखाया था वो निमोनिक ऑल दो नेचुरली अकरिंग एलिमेंट एंड अर्लियर मेंबर हैव रिलेटिवली लॉन्ग लाइफ द लेटर मेंबर नाइनटी टू अटोमिक नंबर के बाद ट्रांसयूरेनिक एलिमेंट बोलते हैं लाइफ रेंजिंग फ्रॉम डेज टू थ्री मिनट फॉर लॉरेंसिंग लॉरेंसिंग की जिंदगी सिर्फ तीन मिनट के लिए मतलब वो जन्म ही तीन मिनट के लिए लेता है and we produce it nature has not given high radioactivity make their study difficult or hamare liye beneficial because we do not have to mug them up the configurations right of actinium thorium protactinium uranium neptunium maine kaha tha ye zyada complex aayega so these are going to have anomalous pichle wale mein char thi यहां पे सात एनोबलस कॉन्फ़िगरेशन, बट अगेन बेटे 99 टू 86 साइज़ डिक्रीज़ है, इनके साइज़ेस नहीं दिए गए क्योंकि इनको पढ़ना मुश्किल था द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट गोस टू सेवन प्लूटोनियम और नेपचूनियम तक पाई गई अगेन इट स्टार्ट डिक्रीजिंग बट अगेन द मोस्ट कॉमन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इज माइडियर फ्रेंड्स द थ्री common oxidation state these are going to be slightly more magnetic right higher of actinides are higher than those of lanthanides again left to right the size decreases there is a gradual decrease in the size of atom or plus 3 ions across the series and that is called as actinoid contraction the contraction is greater from element to element because of poor shielding of 5f he is saying 4f ke muqable 5f mein contraction is more the shielding is even poor in actinoids the because of electron being less likely held are available for bonding up to neptunium 5f less likely held pare hote hain 4f nazdeek hote hain but since 4f electron are more strongly held than 5f electron these are available for bonding up to cerium the cerium tak ye paaye gaye this is just to indicate the size is decreasing left to right beta right the ionization enthalpy of actinide are lower than early lanthanides hona hi tha 4f aa gaya 
This is since when five F orbitals are beginning to be occupied, they will penetrate less into the inner core of electrons than the five F and will therefore be more effectively shielded from the nuclear charge than the 4F of the corresponding core. Because of outer electrons, Yetrukitovia, are less firmly held, they are available for bonding in actinide. They are again all silvery white in appearance. The actinides are highly reactive, especially when finally divided. The action of boiling water of them, for example, a mixture of oxide and hydride, and combination with most non-metals takes place at moderate temperatures. HCl attacks all metal, but most are slightly affected by nitric acid due to passivation. You understand passivation? Uske upar a protective coating So that makes it less reactive. The bases have found to have no effect on them. We have come out of this. Right. So my dear friends, good luck for now. We will right, continue later from this topic. Whether your survivors is completely our so you will be given the test series and revision schedule already you know? so right now my dear friends we stop here and welcome you have successfully completed plus two ka syllabus good luck my dear friends see you again with you. bye take care signing off good luck